The world of star clusters and molecular clouds is the main area of star formation in our galaxy. Today, we will delve into the mysteries of these amazing regions to understand how they form and what role they play in the evolution of the Milky Way. Molecular clouds, often called stellar nurseries, are the primary areas where star formation occurs. These giant structures consist of dense gas. Arthur Clarke and Stannis Olem have encouraged readers to think about possible forms of life and contact with them through their works. Their books, filled with scientific hypotheses and theoretical models, have inspired many researchers. Modern culture also actively includes elements of extraterrestrial civilizations. Video games such as Mass Effect and Halo offer interactive worlds where players can explore galaxies and interact with various life forms. These games help develop interest in astronomy and science among young people, giving them the opportunity to feel like space explorers. Contact with extraterrestrial civilizations raises many ethical and philosophical questions. How will we interact with aliens? What rights and obligations will we have towards other intelligent beings? These questions require deep reflection and international cooperation to develop ethical standards and principles for interacting with extraterrestrial civilizations. Ethical issues. Star clusters and molecular clouds also contribute to the chemical enrichment of the galaxy. The processes of star formation and stellar evolution lead to the creation and spread of heavy elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements become part of the interstellar gas, from which new generations of stars and planetary systems form. Thus, each new generation of stars becomes increasingly enriched with heavy elements, contributing to the diversity of the galaxy's chemical composition. Star clusters and molecular clouds will continue to play a key role in the evolution of the Milky Way in the future. The processes of star formation and chemical enrichment will continue to shape the galaxy's structure and composition. Future research and observations will help scientists better understand these processes and uncover new mysteries of our galaxy. Thus, star clusters and molecular clouds are integral components of the Milky Way, playing an important role in its evolution and dynamics. Studying them helps us better understand the processes of star formation, chemical enrichment, and galaxy structure, as well as uncover the secrets of its past and future. The Dark and Mysterious World of Black Holes and Active Galactic Nuclei Today, characteristics similar to Earth. This discovery is of great interest to scientists and inspires further research in the search for extraterrestrial life. In the future, research in astrobiology, astrophysics, and planetology will continue to develop, and we may obtain new data on the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Technological advancements in space research, such as more powerful telescopes, new methods of detection, and data analysis will help us uncover even more mysteries of the universe and understand if life exists beyond Earth. One promising research direction is the development of new methods for searching for exoplanets and analyzing their atmosphere. Providing further evidence of ancient Martian water bodies. All these discoveries prompt us to rethink our views on Mars. Instead of a dead and dry planet, Mars appears to be a world that once could have been habitable. This data pushes us toward new research and missions, aiming to find even more convincing evidence of ancient water bodies and possibly traces of life. Mars has always attracted scientists with its mysteries and potential secrets. One of the most intriguing findings in recent years is the discovery of organic molecules on its surface. This section of the film explores how these discoveries were made and what they might mean for the possibility of life on Mars. The first significant discovery of organic molecules on Mars was made by the Curiosity rover in 2015. During the analysis of soil samples in Gale Crater, 
Curiosity found organic molecules containing carbon. These molecules are the basic building blocks of life as we know it. However, their presence on Mars does not necessarily indicate life, as such molecules can form through abiotic processes. Nevertheless, it can be described as a two-dimensional surface that encodes all the information needed to describe the three-dimensional world we experience. This idea is still speculative, but it has intriguing implications for our understanding of the universe. If true, it would mean that our three-dimensional reality is an illusion, and the true nature of the universe is fundamentally different from what we perceive. Quantum gravity is a field of theoretical physics that aims to reconcile the theories of quantum mechanics and general relativity. In this documentary, we will examine the moon as many facets from its ancient myths to its scientific mysteries, from its cultural impact to its potential for future exploration. Each episode will provide a comprehensive look at why the moon captivates our imagination and remains a critical focus for humanity as quest to explore and understand the cosmos. Since ancient times, people have observed the moon, weaving myths and legends around its enigmatic presence. Ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans bestowed great significance upon the moon. In Egyptian mythology, the moon was associated with the god Thoth, the deity of wisdom and knowledge. Thoth was believed to have the power to control time and was often depicted with the moon as a symbol of his dominion over the night. In Greek mythology, the moon was personified by the goddess Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. Artemis was the goddess of the hunt, wilderness, and childbirth, and she was often depicted with a crescent moon. Her brother Apollo, associated with the sun, highlighted the duality and balance between day and night, light and darkness. Similarly, in Roman mythology, the moon was linked to Diana, the goddess of the hunt and nature. Diana was revered as a protector of the natural world and was often depicted with a bow and arrows, symbolizing her role as a huntress. The moon, with its phases and cycles, was seen as a powerful force in the natural world, influencing both the environment and human activities. The myths and legends surrounding the moon laid the foundation for its later scientific out. It orbits a small red dwarf with a radius of 0.33 solar radii and a temperature of 3360K, or about 3100 degrees A. K272E is in the habitable zone and complete. In every strange celestial phenomenon, there is an opportunity to open a new chapter in the book of knowledge about our planet and beyond. We are confident that extraterrestrial civilizations exist and that their presence on Earth is not just random events, but important moments that can reveal new horizons of our knowledge. Our journey is just beginning and many more amazing discoveries await us, which could change our understanding of the world. Research, theories, and observations emphasize that we are on the verge of significant discoveries that could forever change our view of humanity's place in the universe. Thus, space research and the search for extraterrestrial life continue to be one of the most exciting and promising fields of science. We stand on the brink of great discoveries, and our quest for knowledge in space research opens new horizons and opportunities for us. In the future, Many more amazing discoveries await us, which could change our understanding of the world and our place in it. Join us on this incredible journey to explore the mysteries of the universe. By subscribing to our channel, you'll stay updated on the latest discoveries, theories, and fascinating stories about extraterrestrial civilizations and space research. Don T. miss out on the opportunity to expand your knowledge and be part of an ever-growing community of space enthusiasts. Click the subscribe button now and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss a new video. Let us uncover the secrets of the cosmos together. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most exciting areas of scientific research. Scientists are exploring the possibility of life on other planets and moons within our solar system, as well as on exoplanets orbiting distant stars. 
The discovery of life beyond Earth would have profound implications for our understanding of biology, evolution, and the nature of life itself. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. Planets in the habitable zone are considered prime candidates for the search for life. Many exoplanets have been discovered in the habitable zones of their stars, and some of them have conditions. This data confirms that active geological processes, such as magma movement and seismic activity, can occur beneath Mars's surface. Interesting data also comes from the Curiosity rover, which discovered signs of recent volcanic activity in an area known as Gale Crater. These findings include fresh lava flows and traces of magmatic activity, indicating that Mars's volcanoes might be active even today. These discoveries alter our understanding of Mars as a geologically dead planet. Instead, we see a dynamic world where processes shaping its surface and internal structure still occur. This opens new perspectives for studying Mars and its history, as well as searching for possible locations where life could exist. The presence of water is one of the key factors that make a planet habitable. So, as you drift off to sleep, let your mind wander through the infinite expanse of space and dream of the wonders that lie beyond the stars. The exploration of the universe is an ongoing journey, with each discovery leading to new questions and new horizons. Scientists and explorers are constantly pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, seeking to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. The journey of discovery is endless, and the universe continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. The legacy of space exploration is one of human ingenuity and perseverance. From the first steps on the moon to the latest discoveries of distant galaxies, Thoth was believed to have the power to control time and was often depicted with the moon as a symbol of his dominion over the night. In Greek mythology, the moon was personified by the goddess Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. Artemis was the goddess of the hunt, wilderness, and childbirth, and she was often depicted with a crescent moon. Her brother Apollo, associated with the sun, highlighted the duality and balance between day and night, light and darkness. Similarly, in Roman mythology, the moon was linked to Diana, the goddess of the hunt and nature. Diana was revered as a protector of the natural world and was often depicted with a bow and arrows, symbolizing her role as a huntress. The moon, with its phases and cycles, was seen as a powerful force in the natural world, influencing both the environment. His observations demonstrated that celestial bodies, including the moon, were subject to change and possessed physical characteristics similar to those found on Earth. This revelation was a significant step in understanding the true nature of the moon and the broader cosmos. The 20th century ushered in an era of unprecedented space exploration, driven by the intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. In 1959, the Soviet spacecraft Luna 2 became the first human-made object to reach the moon's surface. This historic achievement marked the beginning of the space. And some scientists suggest that conditions for life could exist in its upper layers. Similarly, the atmospheres of exoplanet giants could be home to such organisms if the conditions are suitable. Exploring such hypotheses expands our understanding of where and how life might exist in the universe. It also stimulates the development of new methods and technologies for searching for life on exoplanets and other celestial bodies. Modern telescopes like James Webb have high sensitivity and resolution, allowing detailed studies of exoplanet atmospheres and the search for signs of life. An important aspect of exoplanet research is understanding their climate and geological processes. On Earth, climate and geology play key roles in maintaining life, and similar processes could be important on other planets. Geological activity, such as volcanism and plate tectonics, can create diverse ecological niches and promote life development. For example, on Earth, 
Hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the oceans are places where life can exist in extreme conditions. These vents create chemical. Each new discovery, we gain a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of the cosmos. So, as you drift off to sleep, let your mind wander through the infinite expanse of space and dream of the wonders that lie beyond the stars. The exploration of the universe is an ongoing journey, with each discovery leading to new questions and new horizons. Scientists and explorers are constantly pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, seeking to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. The journey of discovery is endless, and the universe continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. The legacy of space exploration is one of human ingenuity and perseverance. From the first steps on the moon to the latest discoveries of distant galaxies, each milestone represents a triumph of human spirit and curiosity. The legacy of exploration will continue to inspire future generations to reach for the stars and seek out the unknown. The universe is a place of infinite possibilities filled with countless worlds and mysteries waiting to be discovered. The spiritual and philosophical views. Among these groups was the Flat Earth Society, founded in the mid-19th century. In the 20th and 21st centuries, despite significant advances in science and space exploration, the Flat Earth hypothesis gained renewed attention. The internet and social media allowed Flat Earth proponents to share their views and find like-minded individuals worldwide. Why, despite all the scientific evidence, does the idea of a flat Earth continue to find supporters? Here, psychological and social factors come into play. Many people experience a distrust towards governmental and scientific institutions, considering them sources of lies and manipulation. The desire to feel part of a special group and to possess secret knowledge also plays a significant role. What if the Earth were indeed flat? Let's imagine for a moment that the Flat Earth Hypothesis was confirmed. What scientists notice strange landforms resembling dried up riverbeds and valleys. In the early 21st century, rover missions like Spirit and Opportunity started confirming these hypotheses. They sent images and data back to Earth that clearly indicated traces of ancient water flows. These rovers discovered minerals in Martian rocks that only form in the presence of water. Curiosity, launched in 2011, brought even more data. It found ancient pebbles and sandstones, indicating the presence of ancient river systems. Particularly impressive was the discovery at Gale Crater where the rover found evidence of an ancient lake that could have had conditions suitable for microbial life. The environment allows for experiments that would be impossible or impractical on Earth. For instance, researchers can study the effects of long-term exposure to low gravity on the human body, which is essential for planning extended missions to Mars and beyond. Moreover, the Moon offers a pristine environment for astronomical observations. Without an atmosphere, the Moon provides a clear and unobstructed view of the universe, making it an excellent location for telescopes and other observational instruments. Establishing lunar observatories can embark on this cosmic voyage. To understand what lies beyond the universe, we must first grasp the scale of the universe itself. The observable universe is about 93 billion light years in diameter, containing an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, each with billions of stars and even more planets. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one of these many galaxies, spanning about 100,000 light years in diameter. On the Moon, these resources are crucial for sustaining human presence, providing drinking water, breathable oxygen, and hydrogen for fuel. Successful resource utilization on the Moon could reduce the dependence on resupply missions from Earth, making long-term exploration more feasible. The lunar surface is covered with numerous craters formed by meteoritic impacts. These craters vary in size from tiny pits to vast basins hundreds of kilometers in diameter. 
The most well-known and extensively studied craters include Tycho and Copernicus. These craters provide valuable insights into the processes of meteoritic impacts and the evolutionary history of the Moon's surface. Tycho Crater, located in the southern lunar hemisphere, is about 85 kilometers in diameter and features a prominent central peak, which rises approximately 2 kilometers above the crater floor. This peak, along with the crater S, on Mars were more favorable for chemical reactions, leading to the formation of organic compounds. New data from the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter mission, launched by the European Space Agency, ESA, and Roscosmos, also confirm the presence of organic molecules in the Martian atmosphere. Spectrometric analyses showed the presence of methane, a gas that on Earth is primarily produced by biological. This bright band consists of many stars, so dense that their light merges of gas and dust where star formation continues. Inside these nebulae, new stars, planets, and possibly future civilizations are born. The Milky Way is also populated by various types of stars, from young, hot and bright ones to old, cold and dim ones. These stars form a complex and dynamic system where numerous processes occur, such as nuclear fusion in stellar cores, ejections of stellar material, and interactions with other celestial bodies. In addition to stars and planets, our galaxy is filled with interstellar gas and dust. These components play an important role in the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Moreover, the Milky Way contains a significant amount of dark matter, a mysterious substance that does not emit light but exerts gravitational influence on visible matter. Dark matter constitutes the majority of the galaxy's mass and has a significant impact. The composition of the basaltic rocks in this region has provided crucial information about the Moon's volcanic activity and the composition of its mantle. The Sea of Rains. Mare Imbrium is one of the largest maria on the Moon, formed by the impact that created the Imbrium Basin. This basin is surrounded by a mountainous region, including the Apennine Mountains. Beyond this horizon, there may be regions of the universe that we cannot see or interact with. The existence of a cosmic horizon implies that there could be parts of the universe that are forever beyond our reach, hidden by the vast distances and the finite speed of light. The universe is expanding, and this expansion is accelerating. This means that distant galaxies are moving away from us faster and faster. Our galaxy, like the entire cosmos, has undergone a long and complex evolution before becoming the majestic object that we observe today. The history begins billions of years ago, when the universe was still young and filled with chaotic processes of galaxy formation. It is believed that the Milky Way began its formation approximately 13.6 billion years ago, shortly after the Big Bang. This period was marked by intense star formation and the formation of the first star systems. At that time, the universe was filled with clouds of hydrogen and helium, the two lightest in an area known as Gale Crater. These findings include fresh lava flows and traces of magmatic activity indicating that Mars's volcanoes might be active even today. These discoveries alter our understanding of Mars as a geologically dead planet. Instead, we see a dynamic world where processes shaping its surface and internal structure still occur. This opens new perspectives for studying Mars and its history, as well as searching for possible locations where life could exist. The presence of water is one of the key factors that make a planet habitable. On Mars, the presence of water has been the subject of numerous studies and debates. This section of the film will discuss confirmed findings of water on Mars 
in the form of ice beneath the surface and water vapor in the atmosphere. Tides affect shipping and navigation as the of about 1550 kilometers. Imagine the magnitude of this crater, formed by a colossal impact whose energy was so immense that it triggered geological changes even on the opposite side of the planet. But that's not all. Scientists have discovered that Mercury is contracting. Over the past billion years, the planet has decreased in diameter by approximately 14 kilometers. This phenomenon is caused by the cooling and contraction of the planet's iron core, leading to the formation of colonization missions. All this data encourages scientists to conduct further research and new missions aimed at uncovering all of Mars's secrets. However, despite numerous pieces of evidence, questions remain about the quantity and accessibility of water on Mars for potential future colonists. Researchers continue to seek ways to extract water from subsurface ice and atmospheric vapor, which will be a key factor for the successful human exploration. Continuing our exploration of Mercury, let's focus on its atmosphere and climate, which are among the most unique in the entire solar system. Unlike Earth, Mercury has an extremely thin atmosphere, making it a journey to the most unusual and mysterious planet in our solar system. We will delve into a world where every rock holds a history of billions of years where temperatures can change by hundreds of degrees in mere hours, and where sunlight shines brighter than anywhere else. Yes, you are not mistaken. We are talking about Mercury, the planet closest to our sun. Why is it so enigmatic and what makes it unique among the other planets in the solar system? Get ready for an incredible adventure in a world full of surprises and shocking discoveries. So let's begin our journey with some key facts about Mercury. This research is crucial for planning long-duration space missions, such as those to Mars, where astronauts will face similar challenges. The experience gained from lunar missions has led to innovations in medical technology, such as advancements in remote medical monitoring and telemedicine. These technologies have applications both in space and on Earth, improving healthcare delivery in remote and underserved areas. Today, the moon is once again at the center of attention. Both countries and private companies are planning. This story spans billions of years and includes exciting processes of star formation and interactions with neighboring galaxies. The Milky Way began its formation about 13.6 billion years ago, shortly after the Big Bang. Initially, the universe was filled with clouds of hydrogen and helium the primary elements from which the first stars began to form. These first stars, called Population 3 stars, were extremely massive and short-lived. Their powerful supernova explosions enriched the interstellar medium with heavy elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, which later became the building blocks for the next generations of stars and planets. In the early epochs of the Milky Way's formation, the central bulge and halo began to form first. The central bulge of the galaxy consists of a dense concentration of old stars, with a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, at its center. The halo surrounding the central bulge consisted of ancient stars and globular clusters, dense groups of stars that are among the oldest objects in the galaxy. Into the night sky, we are filled with wonder and curiosity about what lies beyond the stars. In this documentary, we will explore the far reaches of the universe, delving into the mysteries that lie beyond our current understanding. This journey will take us through the known cosmos and beyond, into the realms of speculation and theory. It significantly affects the motion of stars and gas in the galaxy. Dark matter forms an extensive halo surrounding the Milky Way, and its gravitational attraction helps to hold the galaxy together, maintaining its structure and stability. The process of star formation begins with the gravitational collapse of dense regions in molecular clouds. 
These regions, called cores, begin to collapse under their own gravity, forming protostars. As the protostar contracts, it heats up and begins to emit light. When the temperature and pressure at its center are high enough to initiate nuclear reactions, the protostar marks the edge of the observable universe. Beyond this, we cannot see or measure directly, but we can theorize about what might lie beyond. One of the most fundamental discoveries in cosmology is that the universe is expanding. This expansion was first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, who found that distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the further away they are, the faster they are moving. This discovery led to the development of the Big Bang Theory. In the harsh lunar environment, performing tasks such as site preparation, habitat construction, and maintenance. Robots can also be used for scientific exploration, collecting samples and conducting experiments in areas that are difficult or dangerous for humans to access. Using local resources, such as water ice and regolith, can significantly reduce the costs of building and maintaining lunar bases. Water ice can be extracted and processed to provide water, oxygen, and hydrogen. Water is essential for drinking and growing food, while oxygen is necessary for breathing and as an oxidizer in rocket fuel. Hydrogen can be used as a fuel in combination with oxygen, enabling the production of rocket propellant on the moon. Lunar regolith can be used to create building materials and provide radiation shielding for habitats. The regolith can be processed into bricks or other construction elements which can be used to build protective structures around habitats to shield astronauts from cosmic radiation and micrometeorite impacts. This use of in situ resources reduces the need to transport heavy and bulky materials from Earth, making lunar habitation more feasible and sustainable. Lunar exploration is also intertwined with economic and The cosmic horizon is the limit of what we can observe in the universe. It is determined by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Beyond this horizon, there may be regions of the universe that we cannot see or interact with. The existence of a cosmic horizon implies that there could be parts of the universe that are forever beyond our reach, hidden by the vast distances and the finite speed of light. The universe is expanding, and this expansion is accelerating. This means that distant galaxies are moving away from us faster and faster. Eventually, they will move beyond our cosmic horizon, and we will no longer be able to see them. This raises the question of what lies beyond this horizon. One possibility is that the universe continues indefinitely with an infinite number of galaxies and stars beyond what we can observe. One possibility is that the universe is infinite in extent. In an infinite universe, there would be no edge or boundary. Resources, build bases, and use lunar resources require the development of new international agreements and regulations. The Outer Space Treaty provides a foundational framework but it does not address the complexities of commercial exploitation and long-term human presence on the moon. Ownership and property rights are central to these discussions. While the Outer Space Treaty prohibits any nation from claiming sovereignty over the moon, it does not explicitly address the rights of private entities to own or exploit lunar resources. This legal ambiguity poses challenges for companies looking to invest in lunar mining and development. Regulating activities on the moon is another critical issue, ensuring that suggests that the rapid expansion of the universe after the Big Bang continues in other regions, creating new bubble universes. Another theory suggests that there are parallel universes that exist alongside our own. These universes could be very similar to ours, with minor differences. Protection is just one of many possible configurations of the fundamental laws of physics. The cosmic horizon is the limit of what we can observe in the universe.
It is determined by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Beyond this horizon, there may be regions of the universe that we cannot see or interact with. The existence of a cosmic horizon implies that there could be parts of the universe that are forever beyond our reach, hidden by the vast distances and the finite speed of light. The universe is expanding, and this expansion is accelerating. This means that distant galaxies are moving away from us faster and faster. Eventually, they will move beyond our cosmic horizon, and we will no longer be able to see them. This raises the question of what lies beyond this horizon. One possibility is that the universe continues indefinitely, with an infinite number of galaxies and stars beyond what we can observe. One possibility is that the universe is infinite in extent. In an infinite universe, there would be no edge or boundary. Instead, space would continue forever, filled with an infinite number of galaxies, stars, and planets. If the universe is infinite, then it would contain an infinite amount of matter and energy, and there would be infinite... The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing model of the origin of the universe. It suggests that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding and cooling. The Big Bang Theory is supported by several lines of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. The shape of the universe is still a topic of debate among cosmologists. It could be flat of research. Many questions remain unanswered. One of them is how widespread biological life is beyond our planet. We still cannot say for sure whether the Earth's biosphere is a unique phenomenon or a natural result of evolution. It is not surprising that the search for life beyond Earth is one of the most important tasks of science. To determine the most promising celestial bodies, the Earth Similarity Index is used based on the surface gravity and equilibrium temperature of the celestial body. However, this index does not consider many important factors necessary for maintaining life. The activity of the parent star is, it is known that frequent flares and ejections of stellar material, characteristic of red dwarfs, can negatively affect the atmosphere and radiation background of nearby exoplanets. However, red dwarfs are considered more favorable than large stars like Sirius or Vega, as the lifespan of giant stars is too short, and their radiation too destructive for potential life development. The expansion of the universe accelerates to the point where it tears apart galaxies, Today to 173 C at night. The planet S weak atmosphere provides no protection from solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts, posing additional challenges for any potential diamond mining missions. Extracting diamonds from Mercury would require advanced space mining technology. Robotic mining systems capable of withstanding the planet S harsh environment would need to drill deep into Mercury S crust to reach the diamond bearing layers demanding significant advancements in drilling and excavation technologies. The economic feasibility of such an endeavor is also questionable. Transporting mined diamonds from Mercury to Earth would involve enormous costs and logistical efforts. The benefits of acquiring these extraterrestrial diamonds must outweigh the colossal expenses associated with the extraction and transportation processes. Despite these challenges, the prospect of mining diamonds on Mercury sparks significant scientific and economic interest. Studying potential diamond deposits could provide valuable insights into the planet's geological history and the processes that led to their formation. Moreover, if feasible, mining diamonds from Mercury could revolutionize the global diamond market and advance our capabilities in space exploration and mining technologies. The hidden layer of diamonds within Mercury not only adds intrigue to the planet, but also represents a potential treasure trove that could inspire few cannot see it directly. However, we can detect its presence through its gravitational out. It orbits a small red dwarf with a radius of 0.33 solar radii and a temperature of 3360 K, or about 3100 degrees A. 
K272e is in the habitable zone and completes one orbit in 24 days. The planet may be tidally locked or in orbital resonance, like Mercury. Despite the low luminosity of the star, K272e receives 11% more energy than Earth from the Sun, and its average temperature is about 295 K, or plus 22 degrees C, which is warmer than Earth. Considering all known data, it can be assumed that K272e is a rocky super-Earth with liquid water and a dense atmosphere. However, frequent star flares pose a threat to the atmosphere, but a strong magnetic field could deflect stellar wind particles, and oceans could protect inhabitants from radiation. In this case, K272e might have incredible auroras. The potential biosphere on such a planet would differ from Earth's. A different light spectrum could make plants use alternative substances for photosynthesis, and their leaves might be purple or red. Radiation hazards could prevent organisms from emerging on land or cause evolutionary adaptations such as thick skin or specific cell structures. The system also contains three other planets, K272b and K272c, close to the star and without atmospheres, and K272d, comparable in size to Earth and located at the inner edge of the habitable zone. The surface conditions, some theories of quantum gravity suggest that the event horizon could have a more complex structure. However, if a black hole evaporates through Hawking radiation, it appears that the information about the matter that fell into the black hole is lost. This paradox has led to intense debate and research, with several proposed solutions, including the idea that information is encoded on the event horizon and can escape as the black hole evaporates. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most exciting areas of scientific research. Scientists are exploring the possibility of life on other planets and moons within our solar system, as well as on exoplanets orbiting distant stars. The discovery of life beyond Earth would have profound implications for our understanding of biology, evolution, and the nature of life itself. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. Planets in the habitable zone are considered prime candidates for the search for life. Many exoplanets have been discovered in the habitable zones of their stars, and some of them have conditions that could potentially support life. Scientists are looking for biosignatures or signs of life in the atmospheres of exoplanets. These include gases like oxygen and methane, which could indicate the presence of biological activity. The search for biosignatures is conducted using powerful telescopes and space missions such as the James Webb's extremely low axial tilt of just zero. These polar craters never receive direct sunlight. Temperatures within these craters remain consistently below 173 C, allowing ice to remain stable for billions of years. Radar studies from Earth first indicated the possibility of ice in these craters in 1991. Radio signals reflected from Mercury's surface showed high reflectivity in the polar regions, characteristic of water ice. These data were confirmed by NASA's Messenger mission, launched in 2004 and orbiting Mercury in 2011. The Messenger spacecraft was equipped with various scientific instruments, including spectrometers and high-resolution cameras, allowing detailed study of the planet's polar regions. Messenger confirmed the presence of water ice by detecting bright, reflective anomalies in the shadowed craters. The instruments also revealed the presence of organic materials, possibly related to cometary matter delivered to Mercury through impacts. The origin of ice on Mercury is associated with comets and asteroids that have collided with the planet over billions of years. These collisions delivered water ice and organic materials that then accumulated in the shadowed polar craters. Another potential source of water ice is degassing from the planet's interior where water could have emerged through cracks and other geological structures. 
The presence of water ice on Mercury has significant scientific and practical implications. The magnetic field provides us with valuable information about the processes that shape planets. These insights not only deepen our understanding of Mercury, but also contribute to the overall picture of planetary formation and evolution in the solar system. For those who are fascinated by the cosmos and the mysteries of the universe, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations and discoveries. Join us on this exciting journey through space and uncover the secrets of the planets and beyond. Don T. Miss out on our latest documentaries and updates. Hit the subscribe button now. In the vast expanses of the universe, among billions of stars and planets, lie mysteries that captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the world. We live in an era where technology and discoveries are beginning to unveil previously unseen horizons, revealing new facets of what we know about life beyond our planet. Each generation of humanity strives to uncover the secrets of the universe and understand whether other forms of life exist besides our own. Alien civilizations and UFO sightings evoke a mix of awe and fear, combining the hope for great discovery with the anxiety of the unknown. Sumerian cuneiform tablets found in the ancient city of Ur contain mentions of beings that some researchers and complexity of the universe inspire a sense of wonder and awe. For others, it re another interesting aspect is the possibility of life in extreme cold conditions. On Earth, we know microorganisms capable of surviving in extreme cold and high pressure. These organisms can serve as a model for understanding how life could exist on icy planets and moons. Such extremophiles can survive at temperatures close to absolute zero and use chemical reactions for energy. Saturn and its moons provide another interesting example for study. Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, has geysers ejecting water and organic compounds from its subsurface ocean into space. This indicates the presence of liquid water beneath its icy crust making it a promising object for searching for life. However, not only planets and moons within our galaxy are interesting for study. Recently, exoplanets have been discovered in other galaxies, opening new possibilities for research. For example, exoplanets have been discovered in the Andromeda galaxy, which might represent completely unique worlds with conditions different from anything we know. In addition to studying exoplanets, an important aspect is studying interstellar objects such as asteroids and comets. They can contain valuable data about the origin and evolution of the solar system and other star systems. Studying such objects can help us understand how planets formed and what processes occur in space. One of the most interesting interstellar objects is the comet Borisov, discovered in 2019. This comet differs from all known comets in our solar system and provides a unique opportunity to study materials that form deses. We must remember the importance of preserving our home planet. Earth remains our only home, and we must take care of its resources and ecosystems. Each step of progress leaves a scar on our planet's face, and it is hard to say when these changes will become irreversible. We must strive for sustainable development and use our knowledge and technology to preserve the environment. This will allow us not only to ensure a future for the next generations, but also to continue exploring the wonders of the universe, never forgetting our only home. Stay tuned and we will continue exploring the mysteries and wonders of the universe together. Subscribe to our channel for space enthusiasts, not to miss new discoveries and amazing facts about our universe. The universe is a vast and mysterious expanse that has fascinated humanity for centuries. As we peer into the night sky, we are filled with wonder and curiosity about what lies beyond the stars. In this documentary, we will explore the far reaches of the universe, delving into the mysteries that lie beyond our current understanding. This journey will take us through the known cosmos and beyond, into the realms of speculation and theory. Sit back, relax, and let your mind drift into the infinite expanse of space as we embark on this cosmic voyage. 
To understand what lies beyond the universe, we must first grasp the scale of the universe itself. The observable universe is about 93 billion light-years in diameter, containing an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, and possibly traces of life. Mars has always attracted scientists with its mysteries and potential secrets. One of the most intriguing findings in recent years is the discovery of organic molecules on its surface. This section of the film explores how these discoveries were made and what they might mean for the possibility of life on Mars. The first significant discovery of organic expansion was first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, who found that distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the further away they are, the faster they are moving. This discovery led to the development of the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began as a singularity and has been expanding ever since. The universe is not just made up of the visible matter we can see. In fact, visible matter only makes up about 5% of the total content of the universe. The rest is composed of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, does not emit or absorb light, making it invisible to our telescopes. One theory posits that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam of universes. In this model, each universe is a bubble that can collide or interact with other bubbles. These collisions could create new universes or alter the properties of existing ones. This idea comes from the theory of eternal inflation, which suggests that the rapid expansion of the universe after the Big Bang continues in other regions, creating new bubble universes. Another theory suggests that there are parallel universes that exist alongside our own. These universes could be very similar to ours, with minor differences, or they could be radically different. The concept of parallel universes is often explored in science fiction, but it also has roots in quantum mechanics. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, for example, suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs, each in its own separate universe. The many worlds interpretation is a theory in quantum mechanics that proposes that all possible outcomes of a quantum measurement actually occur, each in a separate, parallel universe. This means that there could be an infinite number of universes, each representing a different possible outcome of every event. This idea challenges our traditional understanding of reality and suggests that our universe is just one of many parallel realities. String theory, a theoretical framework that attempts to reconcile general relativity and quantum mechanics, as previously thought. Additionally, in 2021, results from studies conducted with the Perseverance rover showed the presence of organic compounds in Martian soil, characteristic of microbial activity. This data provided further confirmation that Mars could have been habitable in the past and might still be today. The scientific community continues to debate and analyze these findings, striving to rule out all possible sources of contamination and error. If the presence of microorganisms on Mars is confirmed, it will be one of the most significant discoveries in the history of astronomy and biology. It will open a new era in understanding life beyond Earth and answer the eternal question, are we alone in the universe? Mars was long considered a geologically dead planet. However, recent studies and data from space missions have shown that this is not the case. Another possibility 
is that the universe is finite but unbounded. This means that the universe has a finite volume, but it does not have an edge. Creation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. The shape of the universe is still a A flat universe would continue to expand forever, while an open universe would eventually stop expanding and start contracting. A closed universe would eventually collapse back into a singularity in a big crunch. The shape of the universe is determined by its overall density and the nature of dark energy. The ultimate fate of the universe depends on its shape and the amount of dark energy it contains. Dark energy is a mysterious force that is driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. If the universe is flat or open, it will continue to expand forever, eventually becoming cold and dark. If the universe is closed, it could eventually collapse back into a singularity. Another possibility is the Big Rip, where the expansion of the universe accelerates to the point where it tears apart galaxies, stars, and even atoms. String theory is a theoretical framework that suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles, but tiny, vibrating strings. These strings can exist in multiple dimensions, beyond the four dimensions of space and time that we are familiar with. String theory aims to unify all the fundamental forces of nature, including in 2018 using radar penetrating the Martian surface. A potential subsurface lake was discovered. This data sparked great interest in discussions about the possibility of liquid water existing on Mars today. Additionally, the Curiosity rover detected seasonal changes in methane levels in Mars's atmosphere, which could indicate interactions between water and chemicals beneath the surface. Changes in water vapor content in the atmosphere especially in polar regions where sublimation and condensation processes occur, were also recorded. These discoveries confirm that water exists on Mars even today, albeit in frozen or vapor form. The presence of water significantly increases the chances that Mars could have supported life in the past and might be suitable for future colonization missions. All this data encourages scientists to conduct further research and new missions aimed at uncovering all of Mars's secrets. However, despite numerous pieces of evidence, questions remain about the quantity and accessibility of water on Mars for potential future colonists. Researchers continue to seek ways to extract water from subsurface ice and atmospheric vapor which will be a key factor for the successful human exploration of Mars. Arthur Clark and Stanis Lem have encouraged readers to think about and uncovering the secrets of Mars. Stay with us, and together we will continue this amazing cosmic journey. Galactic Guide Today, we will embark on a fascinating journey to the most unusual and mysterious planet in our solar system. We will delve into a world where every rock holds a history of billions of years, where temperatures can change by hundreds of degrees in mere hours, and where sunlight shines brighter than anywhere else. Yes, you are not mistaken. We are talking about Mercury, the planet closest to our sun. Why is it so enigmatic and what makes it unique among the other planets in the solar system? Get ready for an incredible adventure in a world full of surprises and shocking discoveries. So let's begin our journey with some key facts about Mercury. This remarkable planet is the smallest in the solar system, excluding the Plutoids. 
Its diameter is only about 4,880 kilometers, making it just slightly larger than the moon. Positioned approximately 58 million kilometers from the sun, Mercury completes one orbit around our star in just 88 Earth days, resulting in an astonishingly short year. Despite its proximity to the sun, the search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most exciting areas of scientific research. Scientists are exploring the possibility of life on other planets and moons within our solar system, as well as on exoplanets orbiting distant stars. The discovery of life beyond Earth would have profound implications for our understanding of biology, evolution, and the nature of life itself. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. Planets in the habitable zone are considered prime candidates for the search for life. Many exoplanets have been discovered in the habitable zones of their stars, and some of them have conditions that could potentially support life. Scientists are looking for biosignatures, or signs of life, in the atmospheres of exoplanets. These include gases like oxygen and methane, which could indicate the presence of biological activity. The search for biosignatures is conducted using powerful telescopes and space missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the European Extremely Large Telescope. The Fermi Paradox is the apparent contradiction between the high probability of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of evidence for or contact with such civilizations. Several explanations for thinking about the search for extraterrestrial life. Advancements in technology are driving the future of space exploration. New telescopes, Space probes and other instruments are allowing us to explore the universe in unprecedented detail. Missions like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Mars rovers are providing new insights into the cosmos. Future technologies such as advanced propulsion systems and artificial intelligence could enable even more ambitious exploration missions. Human exploration of space is also progressing. Missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond are being planned by space agencies and private companies. The goal is to establish a human presence on other planets and expand our understanding of the universe. The Artemis program aims to return humans to the Moon, while missions to Mars, such as SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Mars sample return, are on the horizon. Space colonization is the long-term goal of establishing permanent human settlements beyond Earth. This could involve building colonies on the Moon, Mars, or even on artificial habitats in space. Space colonization presents many challenges, including the need for life support systems, radiation protection, and sustainable sources of food and energy. However, it also offers the characteristics. Other theories suggest that Mercury's unique structure could have resulted from a giant collision, which ejected much of its original outer shell into space, leaving predominantly the iron core. Such scenarios help scientists better understand not only Mercury, but also the processes of planetary formation in general, including those of the terrestrial group to which Earth belongs. Despite all these theories, Mercury continues to guard its secrets, reminding us of how much more there is to learn about our solar system. Each new discovery opens doors to new questions and mysteries, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe even further. If you enjoyed learning about Mercury and crave more amazing stories about space, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here, you'll find new discoveries, captivating stories, and answers to humanity's greatest questions about the cosmos. Thank you for watching.
And until our next encounter in the endless expanses of the universe, Galactic Guide. The universe is a vast and mysterious expanse that has fascinated humanity for centuries. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun in our solar system, harbors many mysteries beneath its surface. One of the most intriguing is the potential existence of underground diamond deposits, formed over billions of years due to the planet's unique geological and environmental conditions. In this documentary, we explore the hypotheses related to diamonds on Mercury, examining its eccentric orbit, dramatic temperature fluctuations, polar ice, long day and short year, weak atmosphere, geological activity, and magnetic field. The idea of diamonds on Mercury is based on the planet S history, which includes intense volcanic activity and a high level of carbon in its crust. Over time, extreme pressure and heat from volcanic eruptions and planetary collisions could have turned carbon into diamonds, creating significant underground deposits. However, accessing these treasures is complicated by Mercury's harsh surface conditions. Temperatures fluctuate from 427 C during the day to 173 C at night. The planet's weak atmosphere provides no protection from solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts, posing additional challenges for any potential diamond mining missions. Extracting diamonds from Mercury would require advanced space mining technology. Robotic mining systems capable of withstanding the planet's harsh environment would need to drill deep into Mercury's crust to reach the diamond-bearing layers, demanding significant advancements in drilling and excavation technologies. The economic feasibility of such an endeavor is also questionable. Transporting mined diamonds from Mercury to Earth would involve enormous costs and logistical efforts. The benefits of acquiring these extraterrestrial diamonds must outweigh the colossal expenses associated with the extraction and transportation processes. Despite these challenges, the prospect of mining diamonds on Mercury sparks significant scientific and economic interest. Studying potential diamond deposits could provide valuable insights into the planet's geological history and the processes that led to their formation. Moreover, if feasible, mining diamonds from Mercury could revolutionize the global diamond market and advance our capabilities in space exploration and mining technologies. Dark energy, which makes up the remaining 68%, is a mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Understanding dark matter and dark energy is one of the biggest challenges in modern cosmology. One of the most intriguing ideas in modern cosmology is the concept of the multiverse. This theory suggests that our universe is just one of many universes that exist. These parallel universes could have different physical laws, constants, and even dimensions. There are several theories about how these universes might exist and interact. One theory posits that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam of universe biosphere is a unique phenomenon or a natural result of evolution. It is not surprising that the search for life beyond Earth is one of the most important tasks of science. To determine the most promising celestial bodies, the Earth Similarity Index is used based on the surface gravity and equilibrium temperature of the celestial body. However, this index does not consider many important factors necessary for maintaining life. Planets of the Earth type or super-Earths. Many Neptunes and oceanic planets lack solid surfaces and many elements. More than 5,000 worlds have already been discovered beyond the solar system, and some of them are similar to our planet. One of the nearest such objects is the exoplanet Gliese 1002b, located just 15.2 light years from us. It was discovered in 2022 using the radial velocity method, which detects star wobbling under the influence of the orbital movement of planets. Gliese, 
1002B is near a small and dim red dwarf, Gliese 1002, with a radius only 14% of the sun's radius and a mass eight times smaller. Due to the low luminosity of the red dwarf, the habitable zone has a small radius. Gliese 1002B is at the outer edge of this zone and may be considered potentially habitable. It completes one orbit around its star in about 10 Earth days, indicating a very small orbital radius. Due to its proximity to the star, the planet is expected to be tidally locked, always facing the star with one side. The average surface temperature is around 230K, or 43 degrees X, which is warmer than Mars. The possible presence of a greenhouse effect could maintain liquid water on the planet's surface, creating conditions for life. The mass of Gliese 1002b is 8% greater than Earth's mass, and the radius exceeds Earth's by only 3%. This means that you would eventually end up back where you started. This idea is similar to the surface of a sphere, which is finite in area but has no edge. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing model of the origin of the universe. It suggests that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding and cooling. The Big Bang Theory is supported by several lines of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. The shape of the universe is still a topic of debate among cosmologists. It could be flat, open, or closed. A flat universe would continue to expand forever, while an open universe would eventually stop expanding and start contracting. A closed universe would eventually collapse back into a singularity in a big crunch. The shape of the universe is determined by its overall density, and their leaves might be purple or red. Radiation hazards could prevent